Titanic was once the largest moving object ever built by human hands, an engineering marvel of 1912. But today, Titanic would look tiny next to the giants of the sea. From floating cities to ships longer than the Empire State Building is tall. Let's compare Titanic to the biggest ships ever built. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to explore how the Titanic stacks up against the most colossal ships ever created. From oil tankers to cruise liners, you'll see just how much shipbuilding has changed in the last century. You won't and trust me, the you won't believe the difference. First, let's set the baseline. Titanic was about 882 feet long, 269 meters, nearly the length of three football fields. She weighed 46,000 gross tons. At the time, she was the largest ship afloat, an icon of luxury and engineering. Passengers described her as a floating city, but compared to today's giants, she's just the starting point. Now, let's compare Titanic to a modern aircraft carrier. Take the USS Gerald R. Ford, the U.S. Navy's largest carrier. Length, over 1,100 feet, 335 meters. Displacement, 100,000 tons, more than twice Titanic's size. Crew, around 4,500 people, not including the air wing. It's basically a floating military base with nuclear reactors that can power it for 20 years without refueling. Imagine Titanic sailing alongside one of these. It would look like an escort ship. Next up, cruise ships. Titanic carried about 2,200 passengers and crew combined. Now look at the icon of the seas, launched in 2024 by Royal Caribbean. Length, 1,200 feet, 365 meters. Weight, 250,000 gross tons. That's five times Titanic size. Capacity, almost 10,000 people on board when you count crew and passengers. This ship is literally a floating city with neighborhoods, water parks, and entire entertainment districts. Compared to Titanic's dining rooms and grand staircase, Icon of the Seas has zip lines and surf simulators. But cruise ships aren't even the biggest. That title goes to oil tankers, the largest ever built, the Seawise Giant, later renamed Nock Nevis. Length, 1,504 feet, 458 meters. That's over 600 feet longer than Titanic. Deadweight tonnage, 564,000 tons. This ship was so massive, it couldn't fit through the English Channel, the Panama Canal, or even the Suez Canal. Titanic could have fit inside her several times over. Now let's talk container ships, the lifeblood of global trade. Take the Ever A Lot, the largest container ship as of 2022. Length, 1,312 feet, 400 meters. Capacity, 24,000 shipping containers. Imagine Titanic next to it. The Ever A Lot could carry every single item from Titanic and still have room for thousands more containers stacked sky high. What's fascinating is the difference in purpose. Titanic was built for luxury and prestige, a symbol of elegance. Today's biggest ships are built for efficiency, military dominance, or sheer passenger capacity. It's not just about being large, it's about being useful. But still, when you see Titanic in diagrams next to these giants, it really hits you how far From shipbuilding has come. Power. Shipbuilding transformed. Here's a fun question. Could Titanic be built again, full scale, in today's world? The answer is yes, and in fact, several projects have been proposed to recreate her, like Titanic 2. But compared to today's megaships, she would be considered mid-sized, even small. So while Titanic was the giant of her time, today she'd look like a featherweight. From floating theme parks to tankers too big for canals, modern ships make Titanic seem almost modest. But one thing remains, no ship has captured the world's imagination quite like Titanic. If you enjoyed this deep dive, hit like, subscribe, and let me know no in the comments which modern ship blows your mind the Titanic. most compared to Titanic.